One of the updates that we can find in iOS 8 is in the Notification Center. Apple has kind of redesigned the Notification Center on both the iPad and the iPhone. They're both uh, very similar though now. Uh, so as you can see, they first got rid of the Missed tab that would appear next to Notifications. There are now only two tabs, the Today tab and the Notifications tab. So first taking a look at the Today tab, uh, they added a small little graphic for your weather. So on my iPad, it shows up uh, partly cloudy. There's a little partly cloudy graphic. Uh, now on the iPhone, I it should show up there, but there must be a bug in the operating system uh, because it's not showing up for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure why. It says it's using my location services, um, I'm assuming to get my weather, but I don't know why it's not showing up. Anyways, moving on, uh, everything else about the Today tab is basically the same except for one major feature that iOS users have been asking for for a long time, and that is widgets. So as you can see at the bottom, there is now an Edit button. Now when you install uh, applications that will be compatible with this, if you hit that Edit button, uh, there will be an option to include widgets tied to applications that you have downloaded on your device. A couple of those apps that are already working on widgets are uh, the Sports Center application from ESPN and eBay. They will both have widgets that were demonstrated at the WWDC keynote, uh, but I'm not able to show them to you right now because they don't have those widgets published into the App Store. Uh, however, those are two widgets that you can expect to see. Also, uh, the company that makes uh, the uh, hue bulbs, I don't remember the name of the company, but uh, the light bulbs that are adjustable from your phone and also change color, uh, they are planning on having a widget allowing you to turn on and off your light bulbs and the color uh, right from your today view. So again, those widgets will be able to be viewed right from this today view and you can reorder them and everything uh, just like you can kind of reorder some of the uh, pre loaded items on the today view uh, right from the uh, set, uh, right from the screen instead of going to your settings menu. So the rest of the things about the today view are basically the same. Taking a look at notifications. So at first glance the notifications seem basically the same. Uh, they've only really added one thing and that is the ability to dismiss single notifications. So that's not really an issue over here on my phone but on my iPad uh, I have a lot of notifications for this one app, Guidebook, as you can see. Uh, and so maybe I want to get rid of some of them, but I want to keep a few of them out there uh, so that I know maybe what's going on at a certain time. So I can actually just swipe one of these applications and dis or one of these notifications and dismiss it. So I can dismiss single notifications without having to dismiss all of them like you used to have to using this X button. So one other change that you'll find in your notifications is an added uh, ability to react to notifications when you get a push notification on the top of your device while you're in another application without having to go into that application. So as you can see, I just received this notification up here and I can swipe down on it just a hair to get uh, to a couple of other uh, features. So I can either mark this as red or send it to the trash right from here without leaving my music application or whatever application you may have been in. Uh, so I don't have to go to my mail app to do that. So if I know that this is uh, junk or if I know that I do want to go back to it later, I can react to those. So I don't want to read my test notifications, so I'm just going to send it to trash right from there. Now this sort of thing will also work. Uh, for messages, you'll be able to swipe down from a message and you'll be able to respond to that message right from the notification without having to go to the messages app. Now I can't demonstrate for that for you right now because it's not working for whatever reason, but according to Apple, that is what you will be able to do by the time uh, iOS 8 is released in the fall.